Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? I'm here in um, in Enugu, the coal city, and I want to talk to you guys about the, the fundraising that we're doing. I've been visiting a lot of people, we're doing a lot of consultation, doing a lot of grassroots campaign, we've been reaching out to people, and we've been doing a lot of traveling. Now, one thing is definitely correct about all these trips and all these moves and grassroots uh, mobilization that we're doing it is very very expensive that i can tell you it costs so much money to go around um in terms of logistics in terms of um moving people material around we've done posters we've done flyers we've um We've done all crazy kind of stuff, you know, just to reach people in the grassroots. And now it is time to raise money. It is really time to raise money. Um, for a long time, we've just been trying to raise money on. Uh, we've been trying to raise money on on Go for, GoFundMe, you know, platform uh, that works for people who are in the diaspora but here in nigeria it is difficult for people to do that in fact i don't think you can donate money to go fund me from nigeria and so um they have an account open here in nigeria it's in my name i'm going to post that at the end of this broadcast so you can go and support uh, our vision and support our mission like you all know, we don't depend on Godfathers. We don't depend on um, on money bags. You know, we don't do all that. We just raise money from regular people like you, our support base, our, our friends, our colleagues, fellow Nigerians who who believe that there is a future for Nigeria. We are not giving up. We are not just. Um, joining the bandwagon we are not resting our oars on um, just watching the status quo we believe that there is reason to challenge what is there's reason for us to express ourselves there's reason for for young people to participate in in the in, uh, decision making process of this country and with the um, coming of the not too young to run bill that just further give endorsement to our our moves you know our participation in in in, in partisan politics and so i'm calling on everybody um to come and support us uh mary praise eche agua agua um edwin koko wachuku chinelo eke jindo Thank you all for coming live, but do me a favor, guys. Um, we really need your support. You know, I just finally had to say it. We need your support right now. It's um, it's a lot of there's so much money politics going on in Nigeria. Uh, we can't deny the fact that um, it costs money to make these things happen. We have we have done our best so far to carry this um, this campaign as far as we can but right now we really need you to come to our aid i i'm, I'm gonna be going around i've i've been to some of that states already and i'll be to two more um in the coming week i'll go to lagos and i'll be in abuja too so we want those of you our friends who live in abuja to please hit me up let me connect you to this event that we're having in Abuja we're gonna have a fundraising dinner so let me tell you where the venue is we don't want to post it uh, on the public domain we don't want to post it all over Facebook or Twitter we just want to talk with uh, people who are our friends people who believe in our vision people who, who have been there for us from whenever and we have also been there for them okay um, it doesn't matter how much you can contribute to our mission. We appreciate it 
and we really want to thank you for doing that. Crystal Mark uh, Suarez, hey bro, how are you? So guys, share this video around, post it, and let people see the video and um, try to come uh, to our support, okay? We all need you, we need you, we need you, we need you. It has become very critical. All these politicians, they go around sharing money. They've made so much money and it's easy for them to share money. It's easy for them to squander money. Um, we don't have to share money. We don't share money. We don't squander money. What we do is we run a meaningful campaign. We run a campaign that is prudent. We don't just start sharing money to people. We use our money for logistics. We use, our, we use our money to get ourselves around, buy gas. Okay, sometimes when we host meetings, we give the people like some um, water and, and, and soft drinks or whatever, some finger food, whatever we can come up with. And that's what we're using this money for. Um, we're going to be explaining to you what we use the money as we go along. We know we have a lot of friends out there. And if you're my friend, if you're listening right now, I need you to come to my aid. I need you to come to the aid of the, of the campaign. The campaign needs to make posters. The campaign needs to put up billboards. We've not put up any billboard in Enugu. One billboard is close to um, the size that makes sense. It's close to 400,000 Naira, okay? And if we're really going to make impact, we need to put this as strategic areas around Enugu. You can imagine how many places are strategic in Enugu. And if we have to aim at putting these billboards all over the place, you know that's going to cost a lot of money. So we need money for so much. We need money. Just fueling the car uh, every day, it costs a lot of money to just run the car with uh, petrol. And so many other things that we have to do. So that's why we are asking everyone who um, who has been touched by our relationship. I mean, I'm not blowing my, my trumpet, so to speak, but we have touched a lot of people's lives and a lot of people have touched our lives too. We have an awesome network of friends, network of colleagues, network of people who are from the same uh, locality as, as us and uh, we have done a lot of things in the past together. These are the people I'm reaching out to. People who have come to know us through social media, people who have benefited from the things that we have done on, on, um, on social media. We like all of you to come to our aid right now. I see a lot of our friends logging in, Arthur Wara, um, Okolo Emeka, Dr. Okolo Emeka, or Pastor Ike Moye, thank you so much for coming on. I'm excited, Pastor Ike. I must see you in Abuja when I come this time around. The other time, we just uh, was in and out. I came in and we did a party um, registration at INEC, and I didn't get a, uh, a chance to say hi to you. I'm coming in on the 2nd of October, and between 2nd and 3rd, I will make every effort to see you, Pastor Ike. Thank you so much. Tonya Abraham. Isiguzo. Uh, hey, Mecca Mecca, how are you, man? How's everything? Uh, I wish you were here. I wish you were here in Nigeria. There's so much happening. Nigeria is changing and uh, we are holding our ground here and we are, um, we are making an effort to, to be the change. We're trying to be the change that is needed here. We're hoping that what we are doing will, will be like a catalyst. It will, it, will, it will spark off a chain reaction and people will begin to think differently. All we really want is to make people think differently. We cannot compete this with the same kind of money that the money bags are throwing around. It's amazing. They got so much money, they're spreading this money around. They're giving 1,000 Naira to market women, to poor people on the street. And when they give them this 1,000, they walk away and they don't even do anything for the people. They don't preach to them. They don't campaign to them. They don't tell them what they did in the past. 
They don't tell them what they're going to do in the future. They don't care because they know all they have to do is buy them with a thousand naira. And we're still a very young party. We will get to a point where um, spending money for logistics will not be a problem. But for now, we're just um, just doing the most we can, and we're just um, holding it holding it strong here and uh, trying to to lift up our AAC party to an enviable, enviable position. So we're calling on everybody who knows us, if you know Chidi, if you know Erica, if you know Take It Back Movement, if you know the AAC, the African Action Congress, if you believe in us, if you think we are focused, if you think we have a direction, if you think that um, we have the sense of purpose concerning what we're doing then i really ask you to come and support us make sure you come and support us make sure you go to our gofundme page click on it and make some donation if you live outside the country if you live within the country there's a bank account i'm going to also send this bank account what you can do is direct deposit and uh please call me when you deposit anything i will also put a number that you can call but you know what? We refuse to take money from the money bags. We refuse to take money from Godfathers. And now, people are asking, where are you going to get the money from? And I told them, I'm going to get the money from my Godfathers and my godma Godmothers. And they were like, who is your Godfather and your Godmother? And you know who my Godfather and my Godmother is? That's you. That is you. Because... From now on, I'm going to depend on what you send for this campaign. You're going to be the backbone of this campaign. You're going to be the ones who will tell us to continue or tell us to drop the idea. And I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You guys that tune in and listen to us, you are the ones that keep us doing what we're doing. You are the ones that keep us going. But you see, a lot of people don't get it. They think, oh, we stashed out money somewhere, or maybe there's someone sponsoring us, but they don't really get it. We do not have any sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. I can visit all the stakeholders in Enugu State, and I do visit them. I can sit and talk with them. You'll be amazed that most times when we talk, um, they don't actually discuss political appointments or what you might consider as what is on the, on the burner. No, they don't do that. What they do is they advise you, they tell you what's on the ground, tell you how to navigate the murky waters of politics, and they just let you go. So, for those of you who, when you see me with some political leaders, you wonder what I'm doing with them, you're wondering, have they now become our godfathers? I thought you guys said you don't deal with godfathers. Well, now you know. There is no godfatherism in it. Some of them are my uncles. Some of them are elders in our community. They are different things. And so the least we could do is still respect them. You still respect them because you never know tomorrow you might hit your leg on a stone or your child could um, need something and you're gonna run back to this, um, to this political uh, heavyweights that we have in the state. I'm just saying all this to let you know that I need your money. The campaign team needs your money. And we're going to be transparent and prudent about how we manage the party's money. That's one thing I promise you. So please, guys, we really need you to go ahead and donate to our GoFundMe. For those of you uh, in Canada, in Europe, in, um, in Australia, in, um, in uh, New Zealand, everywhere where you are outside the Nigerian shore, if you can use GoFundMe, please use GoFundMe. Prince Julius, how are you, my brother? He says, Nabui, I greet you. I greet you, uh, Prince Julius. Oh, yeah, and uh, Sunday Clement, I see you. I greet you. Guys, it's time for fundraising. How do I say it in church? Offering time, blessing time. So don't be doing a lot of calculations about um if there's anything you want to do just go ahead and do it all right 
I just had to do this video to communicate with you where we are right now. Um, like I said, we've activated our go our uh, campaign funding uh, platform, and we need you to to go ahead and donate money to help our cause. If you have any doubts about the sincerity of our cause, you can call me, and I'll be willing to pick your call and discuss things with you. There are things that you're not comfortable with that you see in our movement and in our party and in uh, in myself even. I think you can come up with it and we will discuss it. We want to get everything out of the way so that we can focus. We can focus. We need. We have an election we need to win. So it is important that we focus on the election. We focus on um, the other things happening around um the election and we make sure that we have a strategy to win we have other strategy we have our plans we have a vision of what we want to do i've been sharing it with a lot of you but please 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 all we're doing if you didn't hear anything else just hear that all we're doing needs a lot of money and we don't have any other place to get this money except you guys we set off already saying that we will not have any godfathers we have not done that we will not do that we also say that we don't have money back so we're not just going to walk to anybody because we know that they have money we just go and say hey you become a member of our board of directors without being somebody that you already know without being somebody that you check their character no 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 we won't do that we we'll promise you we're gonna hang um uh and pick people when it comes to even receiving donations if anybody is controversial and we have proof to what he is even um, uh, 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 denying, we will come after that person. Guys, thank you so much for watching uh, Mike Do Maybe. Thank you so much. Um, I actually want to come on camera. Uh, Do Maybe, let me see. Are you the one putting this request or is the request coming? by itself you know by default um let me add you and see if if it's working I'm adding my mic do maybe um i don't know if he is watching and if you can click and start broadcasting with me because you requested that i bring you on camera so here we are. Mike, do maybe if you are there, please go ahead and uh, you are live. You requested to be put live, and I did. Anyways, guys, remember to go to GoFundMe. If you just type GoFundMe, you will see my page is written GD for Governor. Uh, hey prince julius thank you so much my brother thank you 50 50 dollars goes a very long way that's almost like um uh canadian dollars that's almost like fourteen thousand naira here that can fuel a car for two days thank you so much prince julius i appreciate it thank you very very much i'm gonna do this video again um and i'll talk to you guys later okay thank you Bye-bye.